What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Deep Tronica. I wanted to come back to this album quickly because I've realized all the tracks are quite short and it's very much in my sonic lane, if you will, which is to say I keep mentioning in the first few tracks that I've reacted to that a lot of this material sounds like it could very much be part of one of my ambient excursion mixes. It's spacefaring, it's very electronic. It just has exactly what you might expect from a name like Deep Tronica. So shout out to Vince for not only the music that I'm hearing on this album, but the conceptualization. Now having said that, it feels like we're at a very silly pun moment here. Love hurts, hurts being a measurement of frequency, the amount of time it takes for a single cycle. So of course we're playing off of the concept that love hurts, it can weigh on your heart even though it's a great expansive and fantastic feeling when it's in a good vein, but yeah, to say love hurts, it talks about, or seems to make it a more mechanical and um, quantifiable process, so it's clever, it's funny, let's see if there's any lyrics, I doubt it, I imagine this to be, as the other tunes have been, a deeply ambient and electronic tune, this is Love Hurts by Vince Clark as Deep Tronica from the album of the same name in 2009. That's legit Sibiant. You know, there's been a couple moments where as we started to go through this album, it's like, you know, is this still on some level like popular electronica? But it's like, it's Sibiant. You could put this on the Ultimate label. You could put this on um, uh, Cosmic Leaf, like any of the real like um, heavyweights in the world of Sibiant and it would be totally at home. So yeah, Sibiant, down tempo, um, down-tempo trans, chill-gressive, choose the label you want, but it's very much in the vein of the, not even in the vein, it is the type of music that I do in my, or I use in my ambient excursion mixes, and this one is probably my favorite, that acid riff, very electric, that tonal shift with that main sort of soaring melody, um, there was another sort of um, electric shimmer that would sort of fade after it would come in, 
that electro not electronic but like almost like a pressure release like a steam valve that was sort of cyclical like a percussion part of the percussion scheme uh, which you know made me think of the idea of a Hertz cycle and you know the measurement of frequency so yeah doing what it's using for a pun seeing or seeming very exploratory and cosmic once again uh, just a top top tune I mean it's my favorite stuff that I've heard Vince make and don't get me wrong again I enjoy erasure I love the Yazoo material the opening Depeche album is brilliant I like the VCMG stuff that I've heard but this is by far my favorite Vince material so yeah top top tune again shout out to Han Solo let me know what you think let me know if you're enjoying these admittedly appetizers that's I guess it's my only not even critical remark but lament because um, a lot of the Sibian tunes that I listen to and that I put in my mixes again they're six seven eight minutes long I long for one of these tracks to be double the length that it is because again that was what like two and a half a little bit more 245 but still under three minutes so yeah my only lament is that these tunes aren't longer in any case let me know what you think and I will see you next time peace